Hello, good day. In this video, we have packing problems. Okay, this will be the first part of our packing problems. Okay, so suppose we have a circles of radius one centimeter, each of which will then have an area of pi centimeter squared. We are then going to fill a plane with these circles using square packing and hexagonal packing. Okay. So we will take up first the percentage of the square's area covered by circles. Then we will use area of the circles all over area of the square times 100%. Okay, to continue we have here an illustration. Okay, so assuming that this is the scenario here, we have, we have to inscribe a circle inside the square but before that let me introduce to you first the the measurements or the sizes of our radius so we have here first thus from the center point of our circle to the end point we have one centimeter as our radius the second circle from the center point to the end point, we have one centimeter as our radius. Okay, so logically, we can now have a to connect these two points here. We can now have a one side of a square. Then that is one centim from this point to this point one centi one centimeter. From this point to this point, that is one cent another one centimeter. That means to say the one si the size of a side of our square is two centimeter okay I think that is clear then to continue so we have here the third square at uh, the third I mean the third circle and the fourth circle the same way to to, to to construct the the other side of the square so this is now the the whole illustration let us proceed to the solution we have here we are going to to follow the the formula area of the circles all over area of the square so we have here the area of a circle is is equal to pi r squared area of a circle we are in our radius here is equal to one centimeter so area of a circle is equal to pi r squared r is 4 radius and pi has its own approximate value which is 3.1416 okay so to to continue we will just simply substitute the, fa the approximate value of pi here which is 3.1416 and the value of our radius which is one centimeter one centimeter to the power of two so that means to say 3.1416 times this one one cm times one cm okay let me write here one cm to the power of two is equal to one cm times 1 cm okay so i think this is our uh, i mean this is our numerical numerical coefficient so 1 times 1 it's 1 then cm times cm it is cm to the power of 2 okay so this will be 1 cm to the power of 2 so area of a circle is 1 times 3.1416 is 3.1416 itself centimeter to the power of 2. So this is now the area of our circuit. So next thing to do is simply find the area of our square. Since the formula of our, oh, to get the area of our square is we have s to the power of 2 where s is the size of the side of our square which is 
from here we can see here 1 cm from the center to the end point from the center to the end point so 1 plus 1 that is 2 cm from here to here that is one side of our square which is 2 centimeter so size of the side of our square is 2 cm so just simply substi substitute the value of s which is 2 centimeter or the side in our formula so we have 2 cm to the power of 2 that results so this will be multiplied by itself so 2 cm times 2 cm that is 4 cm to the power of 2 so this is now the the area of our square so let's go back to this formula area of the circles all over area of the square times 100 percent this formula is being used to get the percentage of the squares area covered by circles okay so let's have let's begin with area of the circles okay so let's go back here to the to the illustration to to count to count how many circles we can inscribe we can fit in this square okay so let's count first how many one fourth size of a circle here inside this square so we have one two three four so four one fourth sizes of our circle will be added then that results one square i mean one circle that means to say we can fit in one circle inside this square so we only have we will only have to use one area of the circle that means to say we have okay area of the circles we have 3.1416 centimeter squared 3.1416 cm to the power of 2 then area of the square we have 4 cm squared 4 cm squared that will be multiplied to 100 percent okay so to continue we have we will use the calculator to to calculate this one but we can have the cancellation cm squared conceal here okay so let's use the calculator here 3.1416 divided by 4 equals that will be 0 0.7854 then the next is times by 100 percent multiplied by 100 percent so that is 78.54 okay so the percentage of the squares area covered by circle is 78.54 percent so i think we're done in our videos